Hey guys, Chris from Provo Beast Audio Installation, and today we're doing an unboxing of this Crux wiring harness interface for select Ford, Lincoln, and Mercury vehicles. This is the SWRFD-60 wiring harness interface for vehicles 2007 and up. In this unboxing, we're gonna pull this thing apart, show you everything that it comes with, and how it hooks up to your vehicle. Let's get started. Alright, so before we get this all pulled apart, what makes this kit special is whether your vehicle has analog or digital steering wheel controls, this kit retains both sides of it and includes both modules that allows you to retain those functions. Now the application here, the list is quite large. Now you can always validate to make sure this kit fits your vehicle by going to cruxinterfacing.com but between Ford, Lincoln, and Mercury vehicles, you have a wide range of fitments here. Now, keep in mind that this kit doesn't retain your factory sink. If you don't care about retaining it, you can still use this kit. Now, this kit also supports a wide variety of radios as well. But again, if you have any questions whatsoever, if this is the right kit for you, always go to cruxinterfacing.com. So at this point, let's go ahead and get this box all pulled apart and show you everything inside. This video is sponsored by Crux Interfacing Solutions, an excellent location for radio replacements, camera interfaces, and more. Check out cruxinterfacing.com to start planning your next install today. Okay, so we got everything pulled apart here. Now, what this kit comes with are two sets of steering wheel controlled wired remote inputs. Now, depending on the radio, you'll use one or the other, and we'll go over the instructions to help you determine which one you'll need. Also comes with your main wiring harness adapter. This wiring harness adapter supports two different steering wheel control functions, both analog or CAN bus digital, depending on the 12 pin connector you'll need. We'll cover that here in a minute, but again, it has two variations of it. This wiring harness adapter comes ready to go to be married up to your chosen radio essentially here matching color for color um, it also comes with your navigation type outputs depending on your year vehicle whether you use that or not it also comes with a harness that retains your factory aux as well as your factory sub if so equipped also included are two modules now you're not going to use both you'll use one or the other this module here on the left is for CAN bus steering wheel control systems. The one on the right is for analog steering wheel control systems. So it'll help you determine which one you'll need in your installation. And finally here, it comes with your instructions. Now, before you ever get started with one of these, be sure to always check the instructions first. So what we're gonna do is spend a few minutes going through these that are included with this kit. Um, works with also vehicles that have the factory subwoofer installed. Um, again, it's not necessarily retaining the Sony or sync system. If you have the upgraded Sony amplified system, this kit isn't for you. This is just the system that includes the factory installed subwoofer system, um, not the full Sony amplified system. So kind of keep that in mind for steering wheel controls. Again, it retains both analog as well as digital ones. Um, if you have the CAN bus digital version of your steering wheel controls, more than likely it also will retain a reverse gear illumination speed sense that the CAN bus adapter will produce for you, which is pretty cool. And finally here from the accessory output, it puts out two amps max. So if you're looking to add a backup camera or some sort of other accessory, you probably want to add a relay. Now again, it shows you everything that it comes with further down here shows you which colors do what and where to install them shows you where each connector goes to both 8 pin 16 pin and the 24 pin connector as well as what the smaller connectors do now depending if you have the analog or the CAN bus version of your steering wheel controls it shows you how to hook those up you're not going to use both remember it's an or so you'll use one or the other and it shows you which steering wheel control uh, wired remote wire that you'll need for your radio depending on which radio type you have so make sure you go over this in detail it also shows you dip switch configuration now as we flip this over if you're wondering exactly which 
system that you have in your vehicle when you pull the radio out and look at the factory harness this is the diagram of what that harness will look like now if you have analog steering wheel controls your vehicle will have wires populated and line up to the white and brown wire of the 24 pin crux connector so if you plug in this crux connector and you have white and brown wires in these pin configurations and there's wires on the factory side then you have the analog system if you don't then you have the CAN bus digital system so that's super important for you to look at is go ahead pull the radio out plug in this harness adapter and if you have the white and brown wires that match up on the other end of this on the factory side that you plug in you have the analog version next here is your dip switch configuration so once you determine whether you have can the can bus or the analog steering wheel controls you can go through to determine your dip switch configuration now for the CAN bus, you only have three specific dip switches depending on the radio you want, but if you have the analog, you have to go through a couple more switches. So pay closer attention to that. Now this next section here helps you determine which steering wheel control cable that you'll need, whether it's the option B or option A with a little wire off, it depends on the radio that you'll be installing. So to help you determine which steering wheel control wire that you'll need, look at option A or option B at the radio that you'll be installing this to. That'll help you determine which version of these two cables that you'll need. You're not gonna use both, you'll just use one or the other. Now on our next page here, with this, if you have a select radio that doesn't have a WR input that takes this 3.5 millimeter jack, it actually tells you to cut off the end strip the wires back and then how to wire those into your steering wheel control inputs on your off-brand radio now finally here for analog type steering wheel controls um, connect the brown or the pink wire so again this is the analog so if it's not the digital but the analog so if you're using the analog version which is this smaller one here and you remember you have the wires on the back end side of this well what you need to do is pay close attention to determine which version analog you have whether it's analog a or analog b as you notice here on this little harness adapter it has two little pigtails that come off and depending on whether you have the pink version or the brown version you'll connect it to this wire to help you determine which type you'll use for that it actually has a breakdown so depending on your vehicle type 1 through type 4 is which port that you'll use which wire that you'll connect to and which dip switch configuration is needed again just for the analog side now down here it helps decipher exactly which version you may possibly need so version 1 if it's below 2007 you're going to use type 1 now type 1 tells you to have this dip switch configuration using the brown wire if it's the second, it's 2007 up, which is two and three. And again, depending on which steering wheel control buttons you're trying to retain, whether it's the four or five button system on your steering wheel, that's the configuration that you'll need up above. And finally, below 2006, type four is with the six button system. So you'll have to look at your steering wheel control if you have the analog system to determine what buttons you're trying to keep, which gives you an idea of which type configuration you need to connect to which will also help you determine which um, wire here that you'll need to connect to so kind of start backwards down here finally here you have the vehicles that this kit does fit again always go to cruxinterfacing.com they'll walk you through the process and back here you can have a little bit of space for your notes so a lot of information here cool thing about this kit once again this fits both the standard analog or the CAN bus systems. It does not retain sync and it does not retain the upgraded Sony amplified system, but it can retain the factory subwoofer if so equipped. It does retain the factory aux, which is pretty cool. If you have any questions on what we did here, go ahead and post a comment below. Um, also check out cruxinterfacing.com. You'll get a ton of information right from the manufacturer. Those guys are awesome. If you want to see this harness in action, we're going to actually be installing this in an F-250. 
So go ahead and check that video out. We'll have a card up above as well as a link down in the description. Thanks again for watching. Be sure to hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe. We post great content here on the channel all the time. Thanks again for watching and we will see you in the next video.